Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another review on a Prime Icon. We've got Prime Icon Roberto Baggio. We're going to be going through the player, his details, stats, clip summary, all that good stuff before we get into all of that. If I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below who you'd like me to review next. Uh, this one did come from a comment as well that will pop up above my head. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, this is the team that I used Prime Roberto Baggio in, and I played him in the cam position in a 4-2-3-1 and then moved him up front at halftime in a switch with Del Piero to give him a go up front and see how he played there. Overall impressions of this card, guys, this card is a very solid card. I did enjoy using this card. He's very good um, in playing that number 10 slot. Not so much the striker or at wide, but the number 10 slot, he plays absolutely beautifully. Um, he's not the best player, but he is very good and very serviceable in that spot. Getting into the card, 5-9, medium low work rates, right footed, 5 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. So this card is really well suited to the attacking midfield position. He gives fantastic uh, capability in there with passing and dribbling and decent shooting as well. So it's really nice to have a player that can do all of that and doesn't get back on defence and waste his stamina. 6 games played, 4 goals scored and 6 assists. He is He was absolutely brilliant for me guys. He delivered some great assists for me, some great passes, created some great opportunities. Unlucky with some shots as well. Really fantastic fun to use. In terms of chemistry talk, guys, I put a hunter on him. His passing and dribbling are both fantastic. The pace and the shooting is the elements of this card that I wanted to help out. So that's exactly what I did. And I gave him the boost to that section. In terms of his key pros, guys, short pass is fantastic. Ball control, 96, fantastic. Um, as well as his long pass, fantastic. Vision, fantastic. Just his overall passing and dribbling game is really good. Now, one of the cons of the dribbling game, guys, is his agility. He does feel slightly slow so guys that will be a bit of an issue for you guys in terms of just turning and maneuvering in certain situations and um, you will struggle a little bit there with that in terms of everything else guys i don't think the speed is that much of an issue i found him very fun to use in terms of just bursting past people and getting efforts on goal the shot power is a bit of a con i wish he finished with a bit more power but otherwise i couldn't complain about anything else in terms of player traits, he's got the finesse shot trait, playmaker trait, and technical dribbles, all fantastic traits you need for your attacking midfielder, and he played really well with all of those traits as well. Finally, guys, getting into the icon profile, this is back in 1993. I will leave this for you guys to read this in your own time, and without further ado, we're going to get into some of the clips that I got with him. So guys, getting into some of Roberto Baggio's clips now, and what you guys are going to see here is just his fantastic playmaking, guys. Now, there's two elements of this card that I really want to go into. And the first one is his passing. Now, a lot of these clips might look like I'm doing all the work with Del Piero here. Actually, what Baggio was good at was making things easy for me to play this into my striker and create easy chances. Once I get in on that last man, it's very easy to create a chance. However, to get the ball there, to do all the play beforehand is very difficult. Again, he's not involved in the final play there, but the ball around the corner to Pulisic was the reason that I was able to create that chance. And again, his playmaking is just sensational. And that's really what the strength of this card is, is that he he can do a number of things in that attacking midfield spot to make things easy for you create chances and create goal scoring opportunities and guys overall i think this card's dribbling was fantastic as well uh, despite the fact his agility does hold him back a little bit i do think his agility is slightly annoying um, it does mean that when, especially when you're trying to take multiple sharp turns he does struggle a little more than your average player however he does have five star skill moves so for you guys who are skillers he's definitely usable in that regard as well um, guys, his shooting isn't half bad either, to be fair. And I do have to give uh, Baggio props there, was that his shooting did deliver some decent results. Powerful shooting as well, um, even though his shot power sometimes was a bit low. I do wish it was higher, um, especially when he's arriving in the box with a chance to finish off. I wish he was able to do a little more with those chances. But overall, I still think his shooting was pretty decent for an attacking midfielder, and it was very usable. You can always boost that with a chemistry style, of course. Uh, guys, his attack positioning was sensational as well. Um, he really did take up fantastic positions all the time. And it, it, I don't know who was making who better, whether Del Piero made Baggio better or whether Baggio made Del Piero better. But overall, with the two of them together, linking up with their attacking runs and their positioning and just their general play meant that it was so easy for me to get goals and assists with these two. Um, it just made the play very, very fun for me as well. Having two technicians like that in midfield, especially Baggio, I mean, that's the kind of thing that you want to see from Baggio, a lovely ball down the gap. Unfortunate, I couldn't pull off a good finish there. Uh, and it was time and time again that you would see that. Now, guys, we're going to see some of his goals. And how's that for a finish? Smashing it with his left foot into the top corner. Of course, that four-star weak foot coming 
into play there. He arrives in the box there well, good attack positioning to finish that chance off. And guys, a couple more clips here for the goals. Takes up a good position again, rolls his man nice and easy, smashes it into the near post. And in this final clip here, guys, a bit of a longer one. This move starts with him where he intercepts the ball. He does have a low defensive work rate, but he does get the ball back there. He drives through the defense and a lovely chip over the keeper here into the back of the net. So guys, getting into this final Roberto Baggio summary, 792 on the PlayStation, 703 on the Xbox, 960 on the PC. Now guys, I thought this card was fantastic. Um, he of course is around the similar value to Alessandro Del Piero. And in terms of the key stats you guys are going to see here, short and long passing, fantastic. His set pieces are brilliant as well and his ball control is great. The only thing that holds him back on his dribbling is of course that agility and balance. Del Piero didn't feel so bad to me, but Baggio really did feel more stuck in the mud than he did. Um, his pace was fine though, so that's something you can really fix with my recommended chemistry style, which is to boost some sort of dribbling on him and to boost his shooting. So I would recommend the finisher chemistry style that allows you to get that finish, that uh, agility up there, improve all of those shooting stats as well, so that he becomes really lethal in that attacking midfield position and does some bits for you there. Um, Guys, getting into these sort of similar players here. Now, Alessandro Del Piero is a very good shout. Um, I do think Dennis Bergkamp is a good shout as well. Overall, guys, I don't think that this uh, Baggio is too dissimilar from Alessandro Del Piero. I think the prime Del Piero is very similar. Maybe Del Piero slightly quicker. Baggio a better passer than Del Piero for sure, but very similar in terms of their play style and ability. Finally, guys, of course, getting into the link ability, you've got plenty of links with all the Italian icons that you can chuck in there um, from Del Piero, Inzaghi, Zola, Vieri, all of those guys, uh, as we previously have mentioned in other reviews, including the Del Piero review. Um, there's plenty of players as well in other leagues like Verratti or Immobile or even other Italians such as Fries, Chiellini that you can link him into. Um, so, guys, really some good squad building options here as well. Finally, guys, in terms of my recommendation as to whether I would buy this card or not, if I was to take this card objectively, I think yes, I would. I would buy him if I could afford him and use him. Um, you do have to be patient with his uh, stuck in the mud dribbling. I think if you boost that and boost his shooting, you'll be absolutely fine with it. I don't think his pace needs that much work. I don't think his passing needs any work. Um, if I was to compare this to Del Piero and tell you which one to purchase, guys, I would say buy Del Piero. However, that is obviously personal opinion. Um, you guys are free to pick whoever you want based on who you think would fit better into your team. And I, I would completely understand that. But for me, Del Piero played better for me than Baggio did. Um, I still think this card is absolutely fantastic and still think he's a brilliant card to pick up for your team and you won't regret getting him, especially if he is your favorite player. You will love him uh, in your squad. Just give him time and give yourself time to get used to that uh, play style and you'll be fine with him. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, please do smash that like button. And until next time, I'll see you all in a bit.